Moving on now, popular singer Lucky Ali has filed a complaint with the Karnataka Lokayukta now against IAS officer Rohini Sinduri, her husband, her brother-in-law and even a few other police officers. He is accusing them of land grabbing. The singer has alleged that the IAS officer along with her influential family members have used state resources and funds to illegally encroach upon his farm, which is a trust property. The complaint has also named an ACP and a sub-inspector. The singer has raised a similar complaint, of course, against the same group of people earlier as well in December 2022. Ali had then tagged the Karnataka Director General of Police in a series of tweets claiming that his farm was being illegally encroached upon by the IAS officer and the relatives. As far as the IAS officer, in the past she has maintained she has no connection to this and she's unnecessarily being dragged into the matter. And more importantly, this is also something that right now is in court. So let's try and get more perspective. So joining us today to tell us more about what this case is all about, the problems that he's facing is Lucky Ali himself. Uh, if you could take us through what exactly is your concern, because today I believe you've gone ahead and filed a complaint with the Karnataka Lokayukta. You're alleging that, you know, several officers, you know, connected to the government are putting pressure on you, trying to grab your land. You know, we don't want to really delve into these details and probably you giving us more information will, you know, help us get more clarity and probably for the viewers as well. Yeah, sure. See, uh, these are trust properties around 87 acres plus another 40 acres. So a total of 120 acres, which are grabbed by the land mafia. There's Satish Pai, Yashwan Sinoy, and Century Builders, in collusion with the local sub-registrar. And the husband of Rohini Sanduri is one, of, one amongst them. The trust is not dissolved as of today legally. Although there was a compromise entered by me under immense pressure of life threat and to me and, and to my family, that compromise went under challenge in the court and the final verdict from the court is awaited. During the pendency of the civil litigation, she got an illegal sale deed executed in her husband's favor. That sale deed is also under challenge. Such being the status of the litigation, she managed to get an ex party injunction against me and illegally entered into the trust property in furtherance of her illegal act. Then she under her power as an IAS officer and in commission uh, and with the help of uh, these other, what do you call, uh, officials. Uh, you know, and anyways, we took this to court and I, uh, and I filed uh, this thing being aggrieved. I filed a, a, a case against her and against these officers in the Loka Yukta. Okay. And and the first hearing is fixed on on 1st, 7th, 2024. That is in about another five, six days. Right. Yeah, now, uh, these people had a B report, which the court has rejected and has further directed the DSPCID for further investigation uh, because okay. they were stamp paper fraud. Okay. And, and, and has directed the CID to file the report. So okay. that's what we are waiting for. But this is a daily occurrence of them just coming into our land and building things. Oh. How often is this happening? Uh, uh, Lucky, if you could tell us, you're saying that they're coming to your land very often. What are they saying when they come to your land? Uh, do they have any legal papers to enter your property? Uh, because you're alleging that this is becoming a harassment of sorts for you. Yes, that's right. Basically, what they got, uh, what do you call, uh, an interim order against mm -hmm. uh, uh, this thing from a different court. See, these are trust properties and they only come under one jurisdiction. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, they use, misuse that, this thing, and uh, along with the surveyor, what basically she's done is uh, fabricate an illegal sketch, illegally mm -hmm. demarking, a, a, demarking a, a road though there is no road in a surveyor record or in the or in the village map by the help of this illegal surveyor record she's committed trespass and encroached upon the trust property okay this is what they do every day they started uh, building stuff here now and that's very disturbing to me because there is an injunction and they've gone against that and uh, that's why I approached the uh, Lokayukta court 
Okay, and uh, have the police been reciprocative? Because have you reached out to them uh, because of these concerns that you've been having? And what have they said? Because one of the reasons I ask you this is because in your complaint to the Lokayukta, you've also mentioned the name of uh, the assistant uh, uh, police commissioner there. You've also mentioned the Yalanka town uh, police sub-inspector as well. So are they uh, in any way you know, bothering you as well? How, how, how does it uh, really come into picture? They've been transferred since then. But... Uh, okay. I had uh, approached the earlier, uh, what do you call, uh, DIG, Mr. Su. Yeah, yes. You know, and uh, no action was taken. In fact, they helped get more people inside. In fact, they were threatening us with, oh, we know the highest people in the government in, in Delhi and all that stuff, and we can do anything, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So uh, okay. there was no help coming from uh, uh, from uh, the police at that time. So I approached the Lokayukta. Now the Lok Lokayukta has directed the DSP CID to inv further investigate because there's been a stamp paper fraud. Uh, so and to file a report. So we are awaiting the judgment, and I hope that, God willing, that we get our justice. Okay. Also, as far as, uh, you know, the IS officer in question here itself in the past, when you've raised this issue on social media as well, has claimed that she has nothing to do with this entire property. Unnecessarily, you're dragging her name in between. Uh, there's also, of course, the family members who say that this is a, uh, you know, trust property. So how come that, you know, you're initiating sales? These are some of the allegations that they've been making against you. Exactly. But I did not initiate any sale. What has happened is these people... Uh, uh... As I said, they are, they've been grabbed by the land mafia, Century Builders, which is a very famous, uh, what do you call, very big company here. You know, so uh, since we had taken it to the the court, it rejected a B report that was filed by them, and has further uh, directed the DSP CID to investigate the stamp paper fraud because how did you get the stamp papers? You know, so basically. Okay. So, so uh, you're, you're also saying that there could be a stamp paper fraud as well in this matter? Yeah, there is. The court has understood that and has therefore directed the DSPCID to further investigate and file a report as soon as possible. Okay, lucky from here on, or here from uh, you know, what what's your next plan of action? You've of course gone through the legal route as well, but you're saying as far as on the ground, you continue to face some challenges. So, what's the plan ahead? We're going to wait for what the court says because that's the right way to go, and I have total uh, what do you call uh, faith in the local honourable local and uh, whatever their judgment is. So, yeah. Right, and uh, as of now, uh, is everything okay at the place that you are in, the farm in question? They keep coming in and, uh, you know, digging up stuff and building up little houses and stuff like that, which is quite um, uh, against uh, the injunction that is, there is an injunction against this that nothing can be, till the final uh, settlement, nothing can be um, uh, interfered with and you know, but they still keep on going ahead. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Lucky Ali, for giving us your uh, perspective and your version of what has happened here. And uh, hopefully, if there is any sort of wrongdoing, the authorities will come to your help. And, uh, you know, of course, the legal aspects of it will continue in court. And let's see how that plays out as well. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much.